Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. The Mavic Pro now has a new flight mode called Pano Mode. It consists of four options. The Sphere Pano, the 180 Pano, the Vertical Pano, the Horizontal Pano. It does require the DJI GO 4 app versions and firmware as noted below. Let's go ahead and get started here. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So I'm just getting a position here and take a quick note here that I do have the image file type set as raw. Now to access the pano mode you actually click on the camera settings right there then click here on the camera symbol and down at the bottom you'll see pano. Touch on that it'll give you an introductory message here. Now there's four options there I'm going to start with the 180 pano. Okay, it started and you can see under the record button there's 21 photos that are going to be taken and it gives you status as it takes each photo. Take note there up at the top right that it is recording these images in both JPEG and RAW. It does need to use the JPEG images in order to create the panorama. The RAW images which I had originally set for RAW images does uh, save to the memory card so you'll have both formats available for processing separately from the app. Alright, all done. It does give you a little message there. And down at the bottom right, we're going to hit the play button. And there's the image just taken. It does actually stitch the images on the app. Alright, and there you go, the resulting image. Now you could download it to your device, bottom left button there. The I button just gives you information about the image itself. The top right, there's the share button, and it says you cannot actually do the share function while you're in flight. Now we're going to try the vertical panorama mode. Just takes three photos real quick. Okay, all done. Hit the play button. Okay, and there's the image. Stitching the three images together into a vertical panorama. Go ahead and save it to the device. Now we'll go ahead and start the Sphere 360 panorama. Alright, here we go. 34 pictures all together. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward on this here. Alright, so finishing up with the last photo. Done. Hit the play button. Touch on the image. And there it goes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward on this, but I will give you a time of how long it takes for this to process. You can also do this after you've landed and at home. However, you do need to have both the remote controller and the drone on in order to be able to process it. All right, so almost all done here. It did take a total of 48 seconds on my device. Here's the result here. It does look like a little planet image. You can actually change the view angles here, and I'll show you that a little bit later. I'm saving it to my device here now. All right, so I am at home now, and I did have to power up the Mavic in order to be able to do this. I'm going to go ahead and look at the 360 image and show you that you could actually change the perspective here. All right, guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, as always, appreciate you hitting that like button. Got a lot more videos coming up, of course, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy flying. Bye.